This is Skipper Albert Awal, the voice of the jungle, broadcasting on the DBC to all points unknown. If you're within the sound of my voice, you are listening to AWOL Airwaves on the DBC. And now here's today's river tip from Skipper Bill of the Congo Connie. Bill says... If it rains in the jungle, who cares? That's why they call it a rainforest. Thanks, Bill. Hello and welcome to My Disney Brain. Today is August the 27th. And this is Kelly. And it's my pleasure, along with my daughters Imani and Nia, to welcome you in to the podcast. Hello, Imani. Hello. And hello, Nia. Good morning. All right. We've got a really exciting podcast planned today, and uh, the content is going to be around food. It is basically Disney foods that we've either tried at home or Disney foods that we're going to tell you about trying at home or just, how did, how did we say it before, Disney? Disney foods to try at home. Disney foods to try at home. Obviously, we're all missing the parks. And one of the big reasons we all go to Walt Disney World is the food. Yeah, the attractions are great and the parades and the fireworks, but what would the parts be without the food? So we're going to talk today about some of our favorites, uh, things that we've tried and things that we're going to suggest that you try that we've been successful with that tastes really great and you can do right in the comfort of your own home. Now, before we get started, we always like to invite you to please join us and follow us on our blog, on our Instagram, on our Facebook. A lot of good content goes forth every day. It's a way to keep up with us and to know when the next um, podcast is coming out, uh, the latest news uh, at the parks, and just, you know, just some fun Disney stuff, like we like to say here at My Disney Brain. So again, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to subscribe to us on our blog, it is MyDisneyBrain, B-R-A-I-N dot com. And as always, we would appreciate any and all five-star reviews for our podcast. It really helps us out. And uh, check us out on our uh, YouTube page because, you know, for those of you who are looking at YouTube, you can see we're in the studio today. Uh, this audio goes up to our, to our podcast, but the video, of course, goes to our YouTube channel. So like and subscribe there as well and then share because we're trying to really grow that fast. All righty. So who wants to be first? We're going to be talking about Disney foods at home. Before we get started, though, this doesn't have to be on your list, but let's just go around and just what are your favorite, like list your favorite food, the one that when we go to the parks, this is the one thing I always get. Like what's your favorite food when you go to the park? Um, doesn't have to be like a meal meal, but like you're, you go and you know, every trip you're going to get this. Um, well, at least I know when I was in the college program, I am 25. And when I was in the program, I was at least 21. I would go get the, uh, Dole Whip with the tequila in it at Animal Kingdom. Right. It's the only place that you can get your Dole Whip with alcohol in it. All right. So Dole Whip, Nia? Um, Blaze Pizza. I feel like it's how we like kick yeah. off our trip. Yeah. So. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a classic. Yeah. We we kick off our. Uh, That's our new one. That's not the OG. One. It used to be Earl Sandwich. Used to be Earl Sandwich. When we was eating meat, that's how we kicked off our trip. Yeah, we have to do a disclaimer as we get started uh, this week because when we started going to the parks, well, let's just say it like this: since we started going to the parks, our dietary requirements changed. Yes. And so we're plant based people now. Prior to that, we were not. So um, we had a different diet. And Earl of Sandwich, rest in peace, was, was our <laughs> not rest go in peace. to. Oh my God. They it didn't was, die. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, we, we don't do it anymore. So Earl of Sandwich, if you are a uh, you know carnivore, it is really your. They might place. have a vegetable sandwich. They might. We haven't been in so long. We wouldn't. Yeah, know. we haven't been in, in a few years. Uh, they may. They, they may. They might. 
that was our starting point. Now, like Nia's saying, it's Blaze. And I got to tell you, I mean, you think that you've had good pizza, but I don't know what they're doing in there, but they're doing it right. And we enjoy going every year. And that's the place that we start because we always start off at Disney Springs. That's kind of our intro into the Disney week or weekend. And then we get our Blaze pizza and we hang out at Disney Springs and have a great time. Uh, so that may be one that's on our list also. We may suggest to you that maybe that's something you can do at home. My favorite, I don't know. Um, I think my thing is each time I go, it used to be also RIP is the turkey leg. Mm. Yeah. We, we love the sodium. We really do. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we don't love the sodium, but <laughs> it, it didn't keep us from eating it. No, we would just get four <laughs> bottles of water. Pretty much. Yeah, and we did it in the, sort of the middle of the day so we could kind of... Burn it off. B- try and burn or it off. Sweat it out because it was hot. Just so, have your hands in the air like this so that your hands yeah. don't swell up. <laughs> so old school, it was the turkey leg. But now uh, it's quite clear because I buy this at the supermarket all the time. It's the Mickey ears. Yeah. I, I, I started a few years ago when Imani was in the uh, college program. I bought my first Mickey ear. I don't know what took took me so long. But I got it one day at Animal Kingdom. I was famished. It was hot. And ever since then, I've been hooked. So those are our favorites from the part that each time we go, we always make sure that we get those. So I'm sure that you and your family, each time you go to the parks, either you have a favorite food that you like, and it probably is the turkey legs because they're selling a ton of those. <laughs> and you can find those at every park, I think. Uh... You can find them at Epcot. You certainly can get them at Magic Kingdom. I you, don't know if we've had them in Animal Kingdom before. You can get them there, yes. It's only like one place that you can get them, though, but you can get them in Animal Kingdom. Um, and what about Hollywood Studios? That I don't know. That's okay. the only place I'm not sure about. Yeah, I'm I'm almost certain you could probably get them somewhere at, um, at Hollywood Studios. So anyway, those are our favorites. Maybe you can converse with your group, talk about what your favorites are, and we're going to jump into our top three Disney foods that we're going to suggest – you try at home. So, who wants to start us off? Me. All right. Just pull the mic over a little bit. All right. So, the first place uh, we kind of went into already um, is Blaze. Because at first, I used to think that Blaze and um, I used to think that Blaze was exclusive to Disney Springs because I had never seen it before outside of Disney um, until I realized that it wasn't. And we have them here. Like, we have multiple locations here in Georgia. And I was like, oh, my God, they got Blaze Pizza. You can get your own, build your own pizza, personal pizza for like $10 and it's ready in eight minutes. It's, and it's so good. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah. So thankfully, it's not super, super close because I would eat it every day. But it is definitely like an arm's reach. If I really wanted some Blaze pizza, I could go get it. Well, the good thing about Blaze, too, is they offer vegan cheese. Yes. And for, cauliflower for, crust. Yeah. So for plant-based folks, you can get all your love of pizza but also do it in in, in a very responsible way there's cauliflower crust there's vegan cheese there's a gluten free crust gluten free crust you can get veggie options Um, oh yeah veggies galore that's like the best like people always look at my pizza like it's so gross because I literally get every single vegetable except onions and broccoli that they have on my pizza With the spicy uh, pizza sauce. I really like spicy food. So I had like spicy pizza sauce, jalapenos, garlic, banana spicy peppers. Spicy pizza sauce. Mm-hmm. I didn't it's good. It was a thing. <laughs> it's uh, good. It's good. Try it. So Blaze is, is located in Disney Springs. Yes. So you won't be able to get Blaze in the parks. No, you won't. So this is not like. I'm going to be at Magic Kingdom. Where's my Blaze Pizza? Right. It's Disney Springs only. And it may be in your local town. Yes. I know here, like Imani is saying, here in Atlanta, we have about two or three. But yes. I don't know who located these things, but they're, none of them are close to us. Yeah. So we have to go driving for, for I think the closest one to us is in Decatur, about, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. So it's not bad. It's, it's closer than driving to New Orleans, I mean, uh, Orlando. Um, 
But yeah, so Blaze Pizza is in Disney Springs. You have your plant-based options. Of course, there you know your pepperoni and meat options. All that stuff obviously is there. Uh, so go and go and check it out. And you can do it at home. Yeah. The, the the cool thing is that you can kind of replicate this at home. Uh, you can make your own pizza dough, yes. or you can buy the crust pre-made. We I know we do that a lot at the house. My wife loves to. Uh, for us to do our own pieces here at the house. And we kind of make it into a family night where everyone's in the kitchen. Uh, she cuts up all the vegetables and different things like that. And we just sort of make our own pizza and we stuff them all into the oven at the same time. And we pull them out and then we all just kind of grow up. And it's actually really good. Yes. I mean, it's not Blaze. It's not Blaze, but it's home. It is. And it's a fun activity. All right. So, Nia, what's your first one? <laughs> Okay, I have not tried this personally, but it looks really good. And it surprised me because I'm not a breakfast person. The first time I eat in a day is like afternoon, after one. Right. But it's the, hold on. It is the Nutella Fresh Fruit Waffle at Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I've seen that. I I don't know how I feel about Nutella, though. Nutella's terrible. I don't, okay, maybe I wouldn't use Nutella, but I would definitely use like some sort of Hershey's chocolate. Because Hershey's. It looks good. Like chocolate and waffles. Yeah, it does look good. It looks good. I don't know if I want to try that in the morning. My stomach would be like. That's why it's not in the morning. It's like at two. It can be brunch. (laughs) Yeah. So where do you find this? Fresh fruit. You get it from the store. And then I don't cook waffles because I can't do that. I can cook anything else. I can't cook waffles. No, I mean like in the park. You can find that in Magic Kingdom, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Yeah, I I think the, um, what is it called again? The the Nutella waffle. Nutella fresh fruit waffle at Sleepy Hollow. at Sleepy Hollow. Okay, yeah. So that's in uh, Magic Kingdom. I've seen that a few times, and it looks good, but what's always kind of kept me from like, yeah, I want to try that. I've Listen, and to be fair to Nutella, I've never tasted it. I have. It's terrible. Well, listen, we don't want to say it's terrible. <laughs> we it's may want to get good. a sponsorship from them at it's some point. It's just not <laughs> chocolate. Like, when I see Nutella, like, it's, like, it's like, oh, I'm expecting chocolate taste. It just doesn't taste like chocolate. Hazelnuts spread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's hard. To, if you're going to look like chocolate, you got to be chocolate. Otherwise, people are going to draw away from it. Um, yeah, so it's at the Magic Kingdom. And um, fresh fruit Nutella waffle sandwich at the Magic Kingdom. Now, it's not very hard to replicate, right, Nia? So no. you got to have what? Waffles? Go to Walmart. Go and get like them frozen waffles that you put in the toaster. Get you some fruit, some chocolate, whatever kind, because we're getting Hershey's. We're not getting Nutella. You can melt that. It's perfectly fine. Whatever yeah. else you want to put on it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it looks really good on the website. It's like a waffle taco. It, it, it looks good. I got to tell you. Uh, one thing that Disney does is uh, whoever their chefs are, they've because it's one thing, like, have you ever eaten the food? It doesn't really look the best, but it tastes really good. Mm-hmm. That's the majority of the meals that I cook. They look terrible, but they taste great. Well, Disney's <laughs> figured out a way, and good chefs do this because they call it plating, the art of plating. And when you go to, like, a high-class restaurant, when your food comes to your table, and, you know, we've been to some five-star places, and you can tell the difference between that if we go out somewhere Friday night or something like that. You can tell when it comes to the table, this, I mean, it, the presentation itself makes you feel good about your choice. Yeah. So, like, for example, here, this is not Disney related, but we have a really, really good Thai restaurant here in Atlanta. Yeah. And if you're ever in Atlanta and you like Thai food, whether you're plant based or not, you got to try this place. It's called Nan, N A N. Pretty sure there's two A's. Is it two A's? N A A, is it? It's called Nan, so it may be two A's or not. I, I thought it was N A M, but it's on the corner of Seventeenth and Spring Street. Yeah, I think right I got by, that right. Um, Atlantic, Atlantic Station. Station. So if you know anything about Atlanta, Atlantic Station is downtown. This is not very far from. Um, well, listen, Seventeenth and Spring Street. Just Google Nan, and you'll find it. Yep. Absolutely superb. The 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 plating, the presentation is 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 awesome. But I got to tell you, the quality of this food. Is superb because as a plant based eater, one of the things that we found out is like you go to some restaurants and you tell people you're vegan or vegetarian, plant based, they just say, Look at the size. 
They're like, we have salad. Yeah, salad and, <laughs> and, and vegetables. Vegetables and, and fried okra and stuff that's probably been dipped in so much butter you don't even want to eat it. <laughs> so we appreciate it when we're at a restaurant and a chef actually goes through the effort of creating dishes for plant-based people. And Very I sound good. like I'm about to get on a soapbox, but I'm not. We'll pull you back in. Non, I'm telling you, if you like good food, non is the place. If you ever come to Atlanta, you got to try it. And we're back. So anyway, Disney has perfected this art of presentation. Dole Whip looks good. Mm-hmm. Mickey bars look good. Uh, this sandwich that Nia's is talking about, this fruit and Nutella and waffle. Sandwich? It's like well, a taco. Well, it kind of looks like a sandwich, a taco. You eat it sort of like a taco. Uh, but the way they present it, it looks really good. It's very yes. aesthetically pleasing. Yes. It's some bright colors with the blueberries and the banana and the strawberry. And then, of course, you offset it with the chocolate and you got a waffle. You you almost feel like you're doing something good for yourself. But so, you're not. <laughs> So it looks really good. It's advertised uh, to the point where people are like, will definitely try it. Even if, oh, Let's yeah. say they don't even like it. They're going to try it just from looking at it because it looks good to me right now. And I've yeah. never even tasted Nutella. I'll try it. Maybe Disney's Nutella is different from regular Nutella. Yeah. All right. So let's get into mine. So mine is one. I'm going to give a shout out to someone who I've been watching for years uh, in terms of vlogging uh, for Disney content, and that's Tim Tracker. And every year, Tim talks about this one particular uh, product or food product that uh, he and his wife, Jen, love from Magic Kingdom. And it's called Cheeseburger Spring Rolls. Cheeseburger Spring Rolls. Now, Like the ones from Chili's? <laughs> no, I would think not. These are located at Magic Kingdom. They're in Adventureland, and unless they switch the cart location, which I've never seen him go anywhere but this place to get them, it's kind of right at the cusp of getting into Adventureland, but before you get to Pirates. Okay. So there's like a little stand that usually has them. And it's usually around this time of year, you know, almost fall, and, you know, normally uh, Mickey's Not So Scary would be would be happening because I think it's a it's a big part of the Mickey's Not So Scary. I think it's a big part of the food element of that time of year. So anyway, I've never actually tasted them. But the way he goes on about them makes me want to taste them. So the question is, all right, Kelly, you're plant based, but these are cheeseburger spring rolls. So here's what we plant based people have to normally do we we plant based or veganize or everything yes and there's ways to do it you can make anything that you eat outside of actual meat um plant-based yes because there there are options there are healthier options so if we're going to make this at home and which we are you know you're talking about the spring roll actual roll itself the sheets the sheets yep so so that's fine and so what we would do instead of obviously having ground beef we would have either, you know, um, like Beyond, Meat. Beyond Meat or some plant-based yeah. option for the meat. Or our protein, which is what we normally do when we're out, is either mushroom or yes. something like that. We love mushrooms. We absolutely love mushroom. And if you season it right and cook it right, it is a very, very good, healthy substitute for ground beef. Now, cheese, vegans... Um, Vegan cheese is terrible. Vegan cheese is the one thing that I, I was vegan for a long time, for for at least three That's, to four months. Okay. That That's felt fair. like a long time. That's fair. But I love pizza. Yes, you do. And dear Lord, did I try. Yeah, we both did. I tried so many so places hard. for vegan cheese that was just. It was man. Oh, my God. It was the worst. So I just said, you know what? I swore I didn't even eat pizza for like two months because the first couple of times I tried it was so bad. I just said, I guess I'm just not going to have pizza because I just can't do this. <laughs> eat the cheese, anime. <laughs> this is not good. So I, we're vegetarian, and we do have cheese in our diet, although it is very, very limited. We do very little dairy. We do, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. But anyway. <laughs> The spring roll cheeseburger. Pull it back. Yeah, I felt like Pull I was getting on a 
on another platform. Not a talk show. Come on. <laughs> I know. I know. So <laughs> we tell you our whole diet regimen. So, so we're gonna start with the uh, sheets for the egg rolls, and then we'll, well get the no, we're gonna have to go all the way back there. So the cheeseburger egg rolls, I understand, are fantastic. Yeah. So if you do eat meat, go for it. They'll probably be in the parts this year. You can find them, and you'll let us know in the comments how yes. great they are or whatever you think about them. But for us, when we make them at home, which we're going to do very soon, we're going to use a, a plant-based meat option or the mushrooms, mm -hmm. and then we'll probably use some sort of um, Just cheese. cheese that is, you know, healthier than, than most. Just cheese. Yeah. And we'll make them that way. But these, again, are found in Adventureland, and it's kind of – they're in a cart – they're not in a in a in a in a building type situation. So you have to look for a car after you cross the bridge going over to Adventureland. I guess you just ask a cast member, yeah. uh, where can I find the cheeseburger uh, egg rolls? The Adventureland egg roll cart is what it's called. The Adventureland egg roll cart. Yeah. All right. So, Imani, what's your number two? My number two is not like exclusive to Disney. But whenever we go and I get one from Disney, I'm like, ooh, this just feels right. It is a funnel cake. I don't know if I've ever had a funnel cake at Disney. What? Yes, have you we? have. Yes, because the year that we went for Christmas, that is when Joel yeah, spilled yeah, yeah. on Tanya's uh, funnel but cake on we my blanket. We were all in line to get yeah. funnel cakes. We yeah, waited but so long that for was a while cakes. ago. Yeah, we waited a long time for those so funnel long. cakes. Okay. But, yeah, I, I like the funnel cakes there. And we've actually, it's been a long, long time, but we've actually made funnel cakes at home. Yeah, we bought a funnel cake kit. Yeah, that we used twice. Well, I think it's because we ran out of the stuff. We used it, though. We did use it, and we use it all. Um, okay, so the, the, the funnel cake. Now, where can you find it in the parks? Oh, you can find them anywhere, honestly. Um, and you can even get like funnel cake with ice cream on. I've had that. I haven't been able to finish it just because that's like a lot of sugar. But you can get it with ice cream on top, ice cream with strawberries, just strawberries. You can get them in every park. Um, well, yeah. Epcot has the funnel cake and vanilla ice cream. So does yeah. Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you you may be safe looking for this in any 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 park. Yeah. And do you remember what it cost? Probably about what five or seven dollars or something like that. Probably closer to the ten dollar range. Really? Yeah, they're kind of expensive, but they're good. Huh. Um, but yeah, I I like the funnel cakes at Disney. It's it's definitely something I split just because, like I said, it's, it's a, a lot, lot of sugar. sugar. Yeah, it's a lot. Like it's a lot of sugar, especially if you don't have any water. So definitely split that with somebody. Cool beans. And that's something that you can make pretty easily at home. Oh, like yeah, I said, super we've easy. Done it. Super, super easy. Good morning. Um, I sincerely apologize for bringing you back into our diet, but this next one we have to um, vegetarianize. Okay. Yeah. But it's at Deluxe Burger. You know, they only have like two vegetarian options. They're really good. I'm going to give them that. They're really good. But like the rest of them have like bacon and everything else. Yeah. yeah. This is the El Diablo breakfast burger. El Diablo. Well, <laughs> the, the good thing about Deluxe is they, I don't know what meat substitute they use. But it's good. But it is pretty good. It's probably uh, Beyond Burger because that's like the best meat. Beyond Meat. Um, yeah, Beyond Meat is in a lot of places. Impossible is in a lot of places. They don't really say on the menu, but it's yeah. probably Impossible or, or Beyond because those are the two bigger institutions right now. Um, although, just as a side note, we tried some plant-based burgers this weekend. We got from Kroger called, um, oh my goodness, it just literally left my mind. Uh, emerge or yeah. something like that. Those were good. That's I my mean, morning star. But the way you cooked them, you cooked them differently too. Oh, I did. So mm -hmm. deluxe. Yeah. Moving back into that, um, the El Diablo breakfast burger. I don't usually eat burgers in the morning, especially not for breakfast. But this looks really, really good, and I want to try it. So, but it has like bacon the... and everything on it. Okay, so besides the bacon, what can we keep? <laughs> Nothing. The bread. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep the cheese, um, the bread. 
Well, yeah. what's on the El Diablo? <laughs> I should say it that way. What's on it? Um, a burger. It's a bacon, bread. sausage. Um, a sausage. Was it like? Cheese. Cheese. I think yeah. it's jalapenos. They have the patty. Yeah, it's jalapenos. Because El cheese, Diablo. Cheese, your choice of cheese. Probably that pepper jack cheese. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Well, if we were to make it at home, so obviously, Nia, we would do what? We would use a... <laughs> if we were going to make it at home, we're going to go to Slutty Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> for all the stuff we would have to substitute like that's the only place I could think no, of listen. that could like do it and it would still be good no <laughs> God bless this young lady is slutty vegan but I am not standing in line for the first <laughs> It's not going to happen. I did that once before. We support him 100%, but we will not, business will not be standing in line for burgers. So we're going to make it at home. We would use a plant based option. And we've actually done. We can make bacon. Bacon substitutes. Yeah. With, yeah. yeah. And it's good with, with um, uh, rice paper. Rice paper or yucca mm-hmm. root. And yeah. I like the yucca root one, it just is thicker. Yeah, the yucca root is thicker. I'm telling you, I'm, I make BLTs all the time, and even, now you know it's good if your mom will eat it. Where was I? We well, can make some later. Get, we'll, we'll have to make some later. But okay, so anyway, Deluxe like does fish. have a number of really good options for you, whether you're plant based or whether you are carnivore. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and of course, they have fries that are amazing, absolutely amazing. But you. I, I dare you to try to finish one of those by yourself. We always split them because there's so many of them. And the burgers the burger are huge. Like, I could and finish this. a fry by myself. I just be But not in eating a burger. No, not after. Yeah, no, I would just have to eat That's what fries. I'm saying. Like, you can, like, have a burger and fries and think you're going to finish it. You're not. I don't. You would have to really be a competitive eater to do that because it's a lot of food. That's just too much. Like, it's a lot. Even they tell you, you probably want to split these fries yeah. with somebody. So, anyway. El Diablo Burger. Okay, so my second one, my second one, second one. is something that, um, what, what was my first one? The cheeseburger dillies. Okay. The second one also has to do with this time of year. It's the only time of year that you're going to see this in the park and it's at Magic Kingdom. And that is the Cheshire Cattail desserts that are found over in... Um, Oh, oh my God! Where is it? Um, I think it's in New Fantasyland. Mm-hmm. So, I actually found a YouTube video that we're gonna use to make them at home. Okay. We're gonna share that on our Facebook page. So, and it looks so super simple. So, I know a lot of you know what the Cheshire, Cheshire Cattail dessert is is about. And you'll see how simple it is, and you'll definitely want to make it. It's not a lot of ingredients. doesn't look like it. it you have to be a chef to, to, to follow these instructions. I literally watched it in, I think it's an eight-minute video. Mm. And most of the time, the thing's in the oven while you're making the, the purple sauce that goes across it. But I've, I've heard people really rave about this uh, particular dessert. And it's one of the things that you'll see that people stand in line for the longest when it comes to Mickey's Not So Scary. And um, so I think the cart, if, you, if you're going towards um, the castle, don't cross where you're going to Tomorrowland. Go up to the next right, like you're going to Fantasyland. And when, as soon as you get into Fantasyland, New Fantasyland entry, you'll see the uh, Cheshire Cat Tail option right there to the left. All right, so my second one is the Cheshire Cat Tail dessert and Nia what's your last oh Imani what's your last one my last one is the zebra domes and you can find them at exclusively at Animal Kingdom Lodge you cannot find them anywhere else and they are so good they zebra domes and those are found where because we've had those Animal before. Kingdom Lodge Animal Kingdom Lodge at that's the resort but what restaurant? Uh, does everybody have them? Oh, um, you can get it anywhere on the resort. Um, so you can get I know it from, we got them at Boma. You can get them at Boma. You can get them at Sanaa. Um, you can get them at like the quick service quick, place. Oh, cool beans. Uh, over at the Jumbo House. Um, so yeah, but they're only at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and they're so good. Yeah, those are excellente. 
Um, we ate at Boma the year we went for um, Christmas. Christmas, and we had a big, you know, the buffet spread, and, yes, and it, was, it was really, really nice. And so we were being really adventurous, and we tried probably everything on the buffet, mm -hmm. a little or a lot. And the one thing that a group identified as a favorite, and that was the zebra domes. Mm -hmm. So each time we go back, and I don't know if we've gone, well, you worked there, so you probably got a lot of them when you were working there. Uh, I didn't get a lot of them. I actually probably only maybe purchased them maybe three times just because, you know, after a while, you'd be like, okay. Yeah. You practice self-control here, woman. Yeah. But no, they're really good. Um, so, like, if I wasn't working or if I got there in, the, in enough time before work, because I usually worked in the evenings, um, I would I would try and grab some because like the the quick service place would close sometimes like mm -hmm. the, during my shift so I wouldn't like be able to go and get any. Um, but yeah, no, they're they're really good. There's like a it's like a tiramisu like mousse type thing. It's good. It's good. Man, it's chocolate. I love chocolate. So it's. Mm -hmm. cool, I man. don't know how we can make those at home. Honestly, I don't. Well, you know what? Just like I found that. Um, recipe for the Cheshire tail Cheshire cat tail dessert which by the way is located I was right it was New Fantasyland but the name of the uh, establishment is Cheshire Cafe okay duh so that's where you can find it but anyway we'll find a video for Zebra Domes and we'll put it on our Facebook page I'm sure somebody has YouTube this and we'll share it and we'll we'll make it. And then we'll come back in the comments and we'll discuss how good they were, how successful we were making them. That's not something that I want to be too successful at because I'll be making them all the time. <laughs> they were really good. They are really good. Okay, Nia. All right. Um, correct me if I'm wrong saying this, but Gaston cinnamon rolls? Yeah. Yeah. Those were also excellent. Mm -hmm. They were... Um, so Gaston's is located in New Fantasyland, close to, it's in between the Mermaid yes. and also um, well, we, well, Beast Castle, yes. uh, Be Our Guest. And so it kind of sits back in a, in like a, a little, little cut, little cavern type deal, uh, which interestingly enough, across the way from there is where you get turkey legs in Magic Kingdom also. Yes. Because we did that one time years and years ago. So anyway, Gaston's uh it's, that's where you get it from. It's called Gaston's in Magic Kingdom. Now, how would we go about making those at home, you think? You know, like the Pillsbury um, cinnamon yep. rolls that come in the thing? Yep. Those. And I right. feel like we're going to need a lot of butter. A lot of a lot of stuff. We're, because they're yeah. they're big, so you would have to get like a t either a tin or a mold that's that big and then mm. like fill it up with cinnamon bun stuff and then like a lot of icing. It had a lot of icing. It was very good. But I remember it, it was light. Like I didn't, f I, I felt it like very it was light, airy, but it, it was a lot. Well, oh, the actual cinnamon bun, or yeah. like how you felt after you ate. No, the I did bun. not feel like. <laughs> okay, I, felt, I was, it was like what? I mean, <laughs> if it okay, so compare it to cinnabon. Cinnabon feels like it feels if you eat too like many bread. of this, you're gonna kill yourself. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> it's heavy. Immediately. It's a lot of like thick stuff going it's on. A lot of syrup. Yeah, it's it's very heavy. Well, with this, I didn't feel the same way. I felt like it was light. That's why, I, like, it was big, but it wasn't dense. Mm -hmm. It wasn't dense. Now, listen, I still can eat the whole thing. So we split them. Like, we bought, like, two or three. That and is we split another them. thing that I could definitely eat by myself. Well, I, I don't It's just was You can much. deal with the effects of it after. I drink yourself. a lot of water. I just choose to not be that one person who's, like, mine. Since everyone else is like ours, but I can definitely. Well, that myself. listen, if you've been to Gaston's and you've had uh, this cinnamon, so you know exactly what we're talking about. And it's actually a good idea, Nia, to that's something pretty easy people could probably make at home. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's some components of it that make it different than Cinnabon and regular stuff you can buy at the store. Otherwise, it would be Gaston's out of the store. So <laughs> we can try to do some research to figure out and maybe find a, also a YouTube video for that. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll place one YouTube video of our favorites. So of our three, we get to pick one and we'll put it out on our Facebook page for the audience to go and try themselves. Cool. So whether it's Gaston's or whether it was one of your other ones. Cool beans. 
All right, so my last one is probably no secret, and so many people do love this. Not 100% sure how we would make it at home, but we will definitely try. I was stuck between two things. It was either going to be a Mickey pretzel or churro. Mm. Those are two, like, staples. We don't always get pretzels, though. No, we don't. But we normally get churro. Correct. If we're in Hollywood studios. Yes. Or universal, which is another story. But churros are muy excelente. Si. The first time I had a churro... We were in Disneyland, and I did yep. it and just David because, yeah, they, David, well, he bought the first one. Then I was like, ah, we're all the way out here. I should try it. Everybody's always raving about it, and I didn't think anything of it because I'm like, it's just a stick of, of uh, you know, a breadstick with, with sugar on it. But, boy, was I wrong. wrong. I was absolutely wrong. So I get the hype now. So what we're going to do at some point on our list are making churros from home. And uh, we're going to find a really sweet recipe, and we're going to put on our ears and do whatever it is we do to kind of raise a Disney vibe in the house. And we're going to – actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do, too. My wife had a really good idea. We were going over the content for today's podcast. She said, you know what you should do? You should, like, make – put this on your YouTube channel when you're making these. Like, each of our favorites we're going to make. And so we'll have our ears and our hats or Disney garb or whatever on, and we'll shoot us making our favorites, and we'll load it to our YouTube page and also probably a couple snippets to our Facebook page. And we're going to ask you to kind of do the same. And, you know, just kind of tell us how much fun you had doing this with your family and how it kind of helped as you're missing the parts to kind of feel like, you know, still you got some remnants of Disney this year. Because I know so many people are not able to go and use their DVC points and just be there when they normally are. Because this is the time of year that the numbers are starting to increase. Mm -hmm. Going into the fall would have been the time that most people of the year would have been going anyway. So this is sort of short and sweet. But uh, this is what we have this week in terms of podcasts. And we appreciate you listening Uh, Disney foods that we recommend and that we try at home. Uh, We're going to post to our Facebook page our favorites, and we're going to give you YouTube videos to to go by in terms of recipe. And we want you to really tell us what, you know, how everything went, how you liked it, and so forth and so on. We're going to do the same. So we're going to record ours, you record yours, and we'll post them to our Facebook page. All right, girls, any honorable mentions before we go? No. We covered them all. Yeah, yeah. So, cool beans. Uh, Again, guys, please like our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Share our blog links as well as our podcast links with your family, friends, coworkers, and associates. We really do appreciate it. And a big ass and a big thank you for doing this. Please go to our podcast. And when you're listening, when you're done, please rate it and give us a review, a five-star review. That really helps us in terms of visibility. All right? Thank you so much, and have a magical week. Sugar bowl. In addition to beautiful Malaysia, Burma, Siam, and Cambodia, Lotus Tour.